welcome back to my channel, Uni Unni. And today I am gonna do monthly favorites July. Well, starting off, I really, I was so excited to introduce you to this product. And can you guys see what it is? It's a, uh, let me focus. So I'm so excited to introduce you to Claire Sun Cream. You guys know how much I love uh, Claire's and basically if you have really sensitive um, acne prone skin, Claire's is such a great brand for you guys and I mean it might not work for every single person but you know check out the products there and I'm sure that it will be great for um, any of you who have really sensitive skin. Um, I'm actually using their, oh the focus is like going away huh? I'm actually using their toner at the moment, serum, um, BB cream, concealer, uh, cleansing foam, cleansing oil, and you know their body soap. And you know it's just it's been my favorite for a very long time. And I'm so excited that they have a new uh, sun cream. I was so excited for this sunblock. It's SPF 40 uh, and PA++ and I really like the fact that uh, it kind of gives you like an overall brightened tone when you put it on. I personally use it as a primer these days too. It does the effect of a primer. So before I put on a makeup, uh, I just did a video today. I did um, Hyona inspired makeup. Using this as a primer, the good thing is that of course it gives you a tone brighter, but it helps my makeup to last longer. I've noticed that. So these days I've been using this every single day and if you're that type of person who have really super sensitive skin and every sunblock that you try just makes you break out, try this. Uh, it's really great for acne prone skin also. So I wanted to recommend you this and I was so excited because you guys know how much I'm a huge fan of Claire's, right? Uh, and the second thing is I wanted to introduce you to Alon. The reason why I got to meet this brand is I saw, I'm following this girl on Instagram and she's really really cute. She's always just like really cute and she's very lovely. She also sells um, cosmetic brands and uh, she introduced uh, this brand and this is called Alon. And it's a Korean brand and it has uh, organic aloe in it. So that's very very important. But guess what? The reason why I got to know this is because a month ago, I experienced something that I've never did for, you know, 30 years of my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What that is, is I waxed down there. Mm -hmm, I did. <laughs> you know, waxing is really common in the States, right? But in Korea, it is not as common in the States. But these days, it's becoming really common. There are way more waxing shops and a lot of people are more open to it. They're talking about it and they're more, I guess, uh, should I say educated about it? Like they know about it more. So I decided before I went to Busan, I had to get it done, you know, cause it was just so annoying always just like shaving, you know, like the bikini line and stuff like that. So I first got, oh, excuse me. I got my waxing. I waxed down there and it's just it was it was great. Um, I thought it would hurt like crap. I had so many worries. I was like, is it gonna hurt? Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt so much, I'm not gonna be able to handle it. And the second thing was like, oh my gosh, what what if after you know when it grows out, like it it itches, I heard it sometimes it itches, and I was like, I have to sit in the office for eight hours and I can't even do that afterward tight pants and I had all these worries, but I went to a waxing place uh, in Gangnam Station. Uh, for those of you who are living in Korea, it's a great place. Uh, they are super nice. They're super professional. They're very, very, you know, um, clean about you know their equipment, and they like explain everything to you. Cause I had all these questions. I'm like, what do you do it? How do you do it? Like, what do I do afterwards? But you know that waxing is very important too. But afterwards, aftercare is more important. So after you wax for the first time, I know that many of you guys might already know this already, but for those of you who don't, after about you know five days, uh, you have to uh, use a scrub down there to exfoliate your skin so that let's say this is like the layer of your skin and the hair here is trying to come out. If you have dead skin cells, then it, the hair cannot go through. So what you get is ingrowns. So if you don't want to get ingrowns, and ingrowns are like, uh, did you, I don't know if you guys have ever had this before, but when you like shave, you know, your legs or whatever, and 
you know, afterwards you see this little black thing like a circle like that and then you squeeze it out, it's like a puke and a hair comes out. That's what ingrowns are. And basically what it is, is like the hair can't go through so they start growing inside. And if you don't want that, you have to use a scrub. Uh, and it's better to use a sugar scrub rather than salt scrub because it's much more mild. So I suggest that you use a sugar scrub instead of a you know, salt scrub or you know anything else. And afterwards, uh, you can use aloe gel, but they suggested that I use aloe gel that's that. They suggested that I use aloe gel that has no oil. So um, I of course bought it, and then they said you don't need aloe gel, you know, but just make sure you moisturize down there. But I didn't have aloe gel that doesn't have oil in it. So that this just worked perfectly for me, and it did not itch while it was growing back, and it's just perfect and I'm just really happy that I did it I tried I've always wanted to but I had all these questions and I got it all answered before I went in there so it was really really good and they were so friendly so if you're in Korea and you're visiting and you need to you know wax down there please go check out new waxing I'll put it in the description box below well anyways that's why I fell in love with this aloe and I of course tried it on my face too because it's not like bore down there it's or it's originally for you know all over your body or your face so I absolutely fell in love with this aloe um, as I told you guys before since I have super sensitive skin even aloe gels like not 100% aloe gels fit my skin and they some of them make me break out so this aloe gel was really great and if you have acne prone sensitive skin I think this will be great for you all right so moving on to the next one my friend Scarlett's here hello I'm almost done <laughs> We're gonna go out, it's Friday, it's girls night out, and I'm gonna vlog it. So the third is I'm Mimi, and this is a gel lip tint. And Scarlett actually introduced this to me. Uh, she said she bought a new lip tint, and it was really, really cheap. How much was it? Like six dollars? So like six, seven dollars. And uh, I really liked it because you know, as I told you guys before, I don't like putting on makeup too much because my job is like I always have to wear heavy makeup. So at work, I never really work, wear makeup if I don't have to film. So Scarlett always says like, yeah, you know, means like, dude, put something on, man, put some makeup on. But, you know, I always just come to work these days just with this uh, clear, you know, sunblock because it gives you that just brightened tone and I love it. And I just make sure that I just kind of accent my face with this like red lips so that I won't look sick and it's you know I look I, I look pretty okay I actually put three layers on because uh, I do it on the outer part and then one more and then I go one more in one more layer just like right in the middle and it's just kind of like it's really really red but it's really natural and I hate personally I don't like tints I don't want to use that word hate that's a very strong verb but I don't like tints because some tints kind of you know, let's say that your dead skin cells are like <laughs> It's like it's like fixing your makeup, so making noises But it's all good But no, it's all good And then, uh, you know, the dead skin cells, if it's like this Then after you put the tint on, you could actually tell, right? Like this part is more red than this part And I hate that But this, no matter if you have dead skin cells all over or whatever It doesn't show It's very natural And I love it that if you put more on it's can be stronger and it will be less natural but it'll be really pretty when you want to you know kind of like accent your uh -huh, lumptious lips and uh, moving on to the fourth product I wanted to introduce you to um, Etude House Silk Scarf Moist Hair Mist and this is our hair mist and I did not buy this I actually got this from Gina and she bought it and she just gave it to me she's like I don't need it because you know, I was like, oh, Gina, you know, Etude House is having a sale. Do you want to go? I want to buy the mist. I want to buy your mist. And she's like, oh, this? I was like, yeah, I love it. I, and she's like, okay, you can have it. So I just got it. So I didn't need to buy one. I personally only like the scent. I'm sorry, but it doesn't really, you know, like give silky hair like the name itself. Silk scarf. I don't feel any silk scarf after I put it on. But the scent is so good. I love it and the scent goes not for a very long time but at least an hour so I think I just carry this around with me everywhere and you know especially like after work or you know after school like my hair my bangs is all like 
oily and nasty and I feel gross because I'm like sweaty these days but if I put this on and then I go out it just feels good and you know I'm just like yeah uh -huh, I'm feeling sexy so yeah and so I would say that if you're looking for a hair mist that really moisturizes or gives you know volume or something it's not this one but if you're looking for something that gives great scent and if you love Etude House I would say go for it Okay, moving on, it's the last one and you know that every monthly favorites, I try to do something that's not beauty item, right? And I've been loving it. I, I love it. I love sharing that with you guys that an item that's not beauty related, but so this time, it's the first time I'm introducing you to this, but I wanted to introduce you to a mini album by Haze and you know, Haze is a rap slash singer slash, you know, artist. Uh, in Korea that she was on Unpretty Rap Stars 2 and I really love her face, her mask, I love her style you know I just like her and you know one of the reasons why I really like her is like her attitude like because when, when you watch that program it's like very competitive and they, they talk so much shit to each other and like oh it's like crazy right and I know that they do that on purpose and they edit it in a weird way where you know they try to make it seem like it's like they say something that's worse they try to make the editing really bad so that you know like it can it can look really strong or whatever but uh, Hayes, like, you know, whatever the questions that they asked, she, she didn't have to, like, put someone down, you know, she just, like, kind of, like, respected them. She, I remember her saying, like, oh, 진짜, 뭐, 그, 그녀의 performance, like, like, she said something like, oh, yeah, like, on stage, her performance was so wonderful. And then, like, if they said, they asked the question, like, who do you think's gonna win, you or her? She didn't say, like, oh, of course, me, you know, because usually they always say that. They're like, oh, 갈아 먹을게요, or, you know, like, 씹어 먹을게요, or something like that. But she said, oh, I, I don't know, but I really want to win. You know, she was just, like, always very positive. She didn't need to put anyone down. She didn't need to really talk shit about anyone. So I really loved her honesty and her attitude. And I just loved her. I fell in love with her song, uh, 돌아오지마. And I don't know if that song's really uh, known to you guys, but Horaojima was my favorite song. And it's like saying, don't, I guess the English version would be Don't Come Back. And uh, in her mini album, she had an acoustic version of it. So I was like, yes, I want to hear it. And I heard it, and she didn't let me down, and I loved it. And she has uh, five tracks, or is it six? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. She has five tracks. Huh? <laughs> Scarlet's like Kichok. Kichok is like Kion Chokanda. It's like acting like you're cute. I am cute. What you tripping on? <laughs> okay. We're so excited. We're gonna have so much fun today. So alright, the first this song is called And July and this is featuring Dean and DJ Frizz and I know that you guys have heard this song. This is probably the main track um, and the other song is Shut Up and Groove with featuring Dean. I think Dean and Hayes looked wonderful, looked oh, so good in the video. It was so stylish and they look really good together. And it's not like they, they look good as a couple, it's just like they look good. They just look like homies and they just... I don't know, they looked really really good together. They made the music video really hip and I liked it. The song, these two, I don't even need to explain. Just go check it out. I think you guys will love it. Uh, the other songs, uh, the second song is called Underwater. The third is called No Way and um, the fifth one is called Rainy Day. And the last acoustic one is uh, 돌아보지마. Please watch it. I mean, please watch it. <laughs> please hear it. That's like my favorite song. Oh my gosh, I don't have batteries. I love her song number two, Underwater. It's like basically she starts off by saying like, oh, like I'm gonna check my message and he probably texted me again. And like I have to like ignore his messages and ignore his calls and stuff like that. So she's like blowing off a guy basically. But ba at the end, she just kind of the lyric says like, I told you millions of times, I can't get with you cause I have only one person in my heart. So she's kind of saying that I still love my ex or you know, whoever. So it was just like a really, great way of her just showing you know just saying that I'm still in love with someone and I don't know I just love her lyrics it was just really honest and simple and easy it wasn't too complicating it 
Alrighty guys, so that's it for my monthly's favorite this month. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Have a good weekend. Bye! Because we're going to have a great Friday night today.